St. Mary's County is the mother county of Maryland. Maryland started in St. Mary's County. Well, well at Point Lookout, there um, some of the Union soldiers did guard, of course, the um, the Confederate soldiers there, and uh, and one of the uh, things that we uh, often talk about was that. Well, you know, how, how you got treated was how you treated your slave. Oh, you won't be true. But this was quite a little battleground, and it was quite a um, division of the community. With Soderley, mm -hmm. the Soderley Plantation, um, of course, again, that's been around, you know, all of my lifetime, you know, the history of Soderley. But I, I think what uh, would be very interesting now is that uh, there is a slave cabin there, you know, original, and um, they have um, made it, it's going to be made available to so that you can see it year round. I think at one point you, in the warm weather you could, you could go and visit it, but it's actually an original slave cabin. Oh, for tourist attractions, Whoever puts that plan together, they can give them titles. Do you want a picturesque view of St. Mary's County? Then you would go to Soderley, and you would go up in the 7th District and ride down some of those back roads it's where the farms are on both sides and it, just the wide open spaces. Some people get concerned because it was a site for, you know, a plantation, a plantation and it was... Um, you know, painful, painful for many people, but it's history. It's our history, and it's the history of America. We started school at St. Peter Claver. It is the only um, predominantly African American church in St. Mary's County and they celebrate Mass, it's a Gospel Mass. And a lot of people come there and bring their friends and family because every Mass is sung and Gospel music, and clapping and singing, and it is a great place to visit. That's where I go to church. <laughs> so it's a great place to visit and come and worship. And the Drayton School was this little poor, shabby-looking building um, that where the where the uh, black students uh, went to school. But there was still a lot of love. The stories about the teachers, uh, the teachers that taught there, how they would bring soup and cook soup on that pot belly stove for the children, and uh, the children just remembered how you know, just the love of the teacher for them to take up her money and time to do that. The Knights of St. Jerome's is, was a beneficial society and it's actually connected with St. Peter Clay. Right after slavery, people got together and formed this organization to help people, help each other out. You know, if someone got sick and needed to go to the doctor, they raised money, they had activities to uh, help people, to pay people, because St. Mary's County was like that, you know, people had little card games and chicken dinners and things like that to help raise money and support and give people uh, that needed support and help. Uh, so that's what the, the Knights of St. Jerome's did. And then now there's an interpretive center for the monument right there in the same area. And there's a wayside markers that tell the story. And then there are going to be markers walk up the walkway so you can read the markers as you go up about, you know, historical events in the county. And uh, the interpretive center will have displays and information mm -hmm. for people. So um, that, that's a wonderful tourist uh, stop. You know, mm -hmm. I'm leaving you, baby. 
Just because you won't be true. I'm leaving you, baby. Just because you won't be true. For more information and suggested tour routes, please visit www.visitstmarysmd.com.